Welcome to Cindy's Bookshelf. Today I'll be telling the real story of the three little pigs as told by Roger Wolfe. Written and illustrated by Cindy Card. Big Bad Wolf here. That's not my real name. That's what those mean little pigs call me. Since they have crossed my path, my life has not been the same. What's that, I hear you say? You already know the story of the three little pigs? Well, you've only heard their side, or should I say, their lies. I had grown too big to stay in my family den. My mother said it was time for me to move on. She told me, son, you need to build a house. Take your time, be sure to build it strong. So, I just built my house just inside of town. The materials I used were straw. What else could I use? I did not know as I'd never built a house before. By building my house with straw, it was finished in no time at all. A visit to town was next on my list of chores. When I returned, I tried to open my door, it was stuck. I looked through my window, wouldn't you know my luck? There was a little pig in my house. How he got inside, I could not figure out. I then knocked on the door. I called out, I did not shout. I said, little pig, little pig, please let me back in. No, shouted the pig, it's my house now. You can't come back in. I know what you are thinking. I did not huff, I did not puff. I certainly did not blow the house down. Instead, I moved on to build another house a little out of town. I built my second house out of, you guessed it, sticks. Sticks are stronger than straw, that you can be sure. The time it took was a little longer. When I'd finished, I visited town, not before locking my door. When I returned, I tried to open my door. It was stuck. I looked through my window. Wouldn't you know my luck? There was not one, but two little pigs in my house. How they got inside, I could not figure out. I then knocked on the door. I called out. I did not shout, although I was a little more stern than before. I said, little pigs, little pigs, please let me back in. No, shouted the pigs. It's our house now. You can't come back in. I know what you're thinking. I did not huff. I did not puff. I certainly did not blow the house down. Instead, I moved on to build another house farther out of town. I built my third house out of, you guessed it, bricks. Bricks are stronger than straw or sticks. The time it took was much longer. When I finished, I thought a nature walk I could check off my list. When I returned, I tried to open my door. It was stuck. I looked through my window and wouldn't you know my luck? There was not one or two, but three little pigs in my house. How they got inside, I could not figure out. I then knocked on the door. I called out. I did not shout, although I was becoming quite angry as I really wanted them out. I said, little pigs, little pigs, please let me back in. No, shouted the pigs. It's our house now. You can't come back in. I know what you are thinking. I did not huff. I did not puff. I certainly did not blow the house down. There was nowhere else to move. It was time to stand my ground. I had an idea. The best thought I have ever thought. I proceeded to go down the chimney. I had no choice. It was my only resort. But those mean pigs had other plans. They heated water in the biggest of my pots and pans. They placed it where I was destined to land. Oh! It's sad to see how it ended that day. After I landed in hot water, I had no choice but to run away. And so ends the real story of the three devil, oh, I mean little pigs, as told by I, Roger Wolfe. Now whose story do you believe? That's the end of the story. If you'd like to hear more stories from my bookshelf, please visit Cindy's Bookshelf on YouTube, TikTok and Facebook. Links are in the descriptions.